But I, I've learned that the Calvin Ridley experiment's over. I'm trading Calvin Ridley. He was a speedy wide receiver that was able to like get separation because of the routes. He's just he's just going straight north and south. He's a little bit older than I guess I thought he was going to come back and play as. Yeah. So then I also underestimated Christian Kirk in drafts. He was the value of the two Jags wide receivers. If I could go back, I'd, I'd take Christian Kirk over Calvin Ridley. Hey everybody, welcome back to Guys on Sports. What a great show we have planned for you today. Great. It'll be great. Week 7 is done. Week 8 is in the horizon. How'd your week go? Did you win? Uh, I won one of my leagues. So you lost, right? Yeah. Well, I lost two, actually. One of my teams is bad. The other two, two teams out of my dynasty leagues look pretty good. Slow down. Yeah. We have a new uh, fuck face on the show today. Oh, well, thank you. There's another edit. Why is that edit? I got no curse in the first two minutes. Things are things are different this week. Yeah, Phil's got hair. Very different. It's good. Josh, is he makes me incredibly uncomfortable. You took off your costume, by the way. I did. I did. You know, yeah. I, I I don't like because then I'm just I don't appreciate because you did this year because then I'm just Josh Allen this year. Or I'm just wearing yeah, a, I'm just year. wearing a Bills For jersey. Halloween. Oh, I don't, I don't appreciate what the, him. No, you. No, oh me. The costume you. call out, and then you come with a fucking jersey. Yeah, and then you take was, it off for the sports show. I mean, what are we? I doing? thought we were taking costumes but off. You know, the crazy thing is, it is a sports show. I and put you another, wearing a jersey. Yeah, I put another costume on. Uh, well, I don't know what you want from me in you this moment. Left your I want costume. you to, if you're going to suggest that, I want you to be committed. Be I can go in. put it on right now. Go put it on. Yeah, go put it on. Yeah, Actually, go put it on. Yeah, man. Oh, why oh. Are you oh. say what it? the hell? <laughs> are you going to cut it? No, no, just go put it on. This guy. So anyway, how about you? Did your teams win? Um, Nobody cares about the sticker. Deuce flash. This is, this is, what sticker? This is incredibly oh, exactly. Uh, yeah, just, uh, it's a sports show. Just put a jersey on. Hey. So you can get the comments so did you, you want. Did your team win or no? Both my teams won, actually. Both your teams won? Yeah. yeah both I'm supposed to be won. tanking this year. And Papa's looking good. Can't find a way to lose, huh? Can't find a way. I just make good decisions. I was picking yeah. guys. I was letting go of guys that were, you know, costing more, and I was picking up guys who were a little bit less but had some promise for the future. And they're blowing up. They're blowing the kids up. are blowing up. They're, they're doing all right. I'm not doing... You had a good week. I'll get to the playoffs, and then we'll see week. what happens. Do we have any uh, TikTok takes today? Oh, I'm Josh tanking, Allen? but I but I, but I I bought Mahomes for four years. Well, that's I, I'm building for the future. That's why I took him for four years. No, nah, it's you not know, tanking. I, man. It's not tanking. I'm not fully tanking, guy. You're I'm, tanking. I'm just not... wasn't trying to win. All right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, TikTok takes. You got something? Well, first, we should go over our recap. Oh, yeah, go over. If you're I still with us, it. last week. It just started. The show got better just now when you walked off. <laughs> if you're still with us. Yeah, this is a. Two minutes in. Yeah, this intro. It's taken. It's, it's away from me right now. Well, okay. Well, let's weekly, going, buddy. Wa- weekly waivers last week. Uh, Rocky had Sam Howell with uh, Cream Hunt hit. Mark had Jake Bobo hit. Also, Fournette, undetermined, Dog. Not, not on the team. Dog. <laughs> Phil had Trey McBride, a little bit of a whiff. Super hit. Time will tell. That was a long-term play. Savan Ahmed, whiff. A whiff. Fourth on his depth chart. Yeah, it was bad. I had Zach Evans, whiff. Time, uh, whiff. time will tell. <laughs> super whiff. I think and then I had Michael Mayer, whiff, but on the come up. And then our we called it, Amari Cooper, uh, 110 yards, two touchdowns by Rocky, whiff. Mark had Bijan Robinson, 25 plus fantasy points, whiff. I didn't have one, huh? Phil and Phil apparently like escaped in real time as we go through our we called it. I think I did say uh Deontay Foreman was gonna go for three T. <laughs> I'm sure he did, yeah. <laughs> and then we had me saying Zay Flowers, 20 plus fantasy points, did not hit, and Laporta tight end one did not hit. Yeah, so it was all bad for you, huh? Yeah, so this week's going to be a lot better. 100% guaranteed. We called it at the end. We're also going to go over our what did we learn and our weekly waiver wires. But before we get to any of that, TikTok take. Time to check my social media, y'all. To see who loves me online. First one is from Sub-Zero Productions on YouTube. Also, where we got the, hey, is that Josh Allen on the podcast comment? Just oh boy. in case you were wondering why I'm wearing a... Josh Allen jersey. What uh, the fuck does tutelage mean? LMAO. 
my coaching question mark never heard of that shit before never heard of tutelage mark said tutelage on air and then someone was like what the fuck is tutelage mean well, you guys need to read you know i thought it was funny you know what tutelage is right yeah i mean i've heard i don't use yeah, it. yeah what's tutelage mean? i don't use it yeah but you said you heard it so what does it mean you never heard the word oh i've heard it okay so yeah that's what he said he said he heard it yeah so what's it mean i didn't say he didn't say he knew what it meant i think i know what it means i've heard it use context clues what's it mean you tell me i asked you well i don't care what the hell's going on you got me you got me riled up bro you got me riled up man <laughs> what's it you tell? You said it's quite a the hill you chose to fight on. Yeah, I know. Right? What does it mean? Tutelage? <laughs> I don't know. It felt right. It I felt know you right. didn't say it. I know you didn't say it. You know it. What does it mean? mean? <laughs> uh, the, second, the second one is a, it's a DM that we got on TikTok. That's crazy. He said, hey, man, the person I'm versing in fantasy named Marco commented on your Zay Flowers post asking who to start. If you could help me out and tell him the wrong people to start, <laughs> it will mean a lot. I'll have to pay you five dollars, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's a call of um, desperation. There, it's That's funny crazy. enough because you I should have seen if he would do it. Well, it's funny because I I commented to the original comment before I saw the DM, and the people that I told him to start were the people that he thought were wrong anyway. So he DM'd after and was like, "Thanks, bro." I was like, no, I actually feel like those are the other people that you should start. But did he way. send you five dollars? No, no. Oh, but wow. I did the. But what I'm saying is, I replied, in his opinion, correctly because yeah. it was the wrong people in his brain. Right. But it was the right people in my brain. Okay. And this was before I even saw the DM, so right. it worked out for all parties except for me because I don't have five dollars. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna act like I heard everything. That's the breakdown. <laughs> so yeah, TikTok I tape. TikTok tape. Continue to comment. Like, subscribe while you're here on YouTube, and maybe there'll be a shout-out. Before we get to our What Did We Learn, we're going to go to a little plug by Thrive Fantasy. Uh, if you do daily fantasy, please do it through Thrive. You make a lot of money, especially through us. Click the link in the bio, scan the QR code on screen, or download the app and use promo There's code GUYS. Hat. Hats right there. Hat. Cards are in front of Josh because Josh didn't bring his own decorations. But, yep. you know, that's... True. Yep. We'll have to talk about that off air. That's true. Yeah. Yep. Producers will get on our mm -hmm. cases about that. Oh my God! Finish this. Two hundred fifty dollars <laughs> instant matched on your first deposit with Thrive Fantasy. If you put, you know, twenty to two hundred fifty dollars, you can do a lot of cool things like parlays. Uh, you get free prop squares, free including prop squares. Those are cool. Yeah, including Devonte Adams point five receiving yards. You're gonna get Steph Curry on there as well because the NBA is back. You're gonna see LeBron James. Mm -hmm. You're gonna see Luka Doncic. You're gonna see a lot of cool things. You're also going to have some guaranteed money contests. In fact, for week eight, they have a $15,000 GTD contest for the NBA tonight. Nice. So you won't see this. <laughs> yeah, time. but it happens. But there's going to be NBA on there, and yeah. you can make a lot of money through Thrive. It helps have us out. Have you been on Prize Picks yet? Yeah. You, you haven't. You got. Oh, no, not Prize Picks. Thrive. Wow. Sorry. I, I had to cut that out. <laughs> have you been on Thrive yet? It's a lot like Prize Picks. That's what I'm asking. Oh, no, I haven't. That's good. Well, hey, you should you should scan you the should QR code on scan screen. Scan the QR code. We get paid. I'll do it now. We get paid. <laughs> boy, oh boy. What a fun, fun app. That's so where's, nice. Where's the QR code? It's on screen. I need to see this. <laughs> yeah, Thrive Fantasy. It's uh, real easy. Do that. I'm going to do it. And now, what do we want? All right, so Josh, you said you're not going to contribute at all, but did you learn did anything? Did you learn anything this no. football season? Nothing. You nothing. didn't learn a thing. No. Nothing. You learned nothing. No. <laughs> I won. But. You're the worst. What am I learning? <laughs> it's, you know, something that happened. Did you learn anything? You learned nothing from week eight. Nothing happened that shocked you. No big play. No, no underwhelming performance. No injury. We'll circle back. Yeah, you, 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 you think about it. Looked like you got some, something. You caught something. I mean. No. Okay. Uh, the Eagles D line. I mean, I guess seeing the Dolphins go up against a, a tough line really put the Dolphins in a little bit of a throwing back, back down to earth. So yeah, that's, well down. Yeah. that's not that's not a bad fantasy spin. Apparently the Dolphins offensive players are only good against the bad teams. No, I wouldn't say that. Well, I would say, I would say it, it, it helps you look at fantasy in a way where you do kind of you do got to look at defenses. You got got to take it into account if you have Tyree Kill. Yeah. That if he's going against a defense like that, well, those things still, can happen. He still went off though. 
He didn't go. He didn't have a touchdown though, did he? Yeah, but he had like 18 points. Yeah, yeah and he, he did. He, did he dropped right. a touchdown. Yeah. 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 So, um, so maybe the, what did we learn is that Tyreek Hill is, you know, matchup proof. Had like 12 matchup points. proof. Yeah. But everything had else. Like 12 points. Well, this is perfect yeah. because what I was gonna say is that the Buffalo Bills. I think we learned there's some issues there. Um, like obviously, you, I think you still have to start Josh Allen, and you're still gonna start Diggs. Right. Still but I feel cook. like Gabe Davis, though, yeah, but like guys like Gabe Davis, Kincaid, right. Knox. And they got a rough schedule coming up. I think you're going to be looking at matchups a lot more for those guys. But yeah, Cooks, uh, who did I say? Cooks, Allen, Diggs, right? You're starting them. But daily fantasy that's been there is like maybe you want to fade some of those guys on your daily fantasy lineups if they're going up against a tough defense. What did you know who they're playing soon or? Um, I was I looked at it yesterday. Got a little bit of a gauntlet going on. Yeah, I think. But they well, do. there's an issue there though, for sure. I think with them, I mean, they had a great game against the Commanders, who have been terrible after the first yeah. two weeks of the season. Um, and then the rest of it has kind of been so so. I mean, they have the Bucks, they have the Bengals, they have the Broncos. That's you know. Yeah, that's not too. But then bad. they have the Jets, they have the Eagles, Chiefs. Cowboys, Chargers, but uh, yeah, so that's, tough. yeah, that gets tough. Yeah, I, I mean, just, it's tough with this with the record they have now. They pro- projected to have like four losses. Yeah, they already yeah. have what three? Yeah, I think the thing with them is what we said before. Well, I said they're going to finish five hundred. I do think Dable uh, affects Josh Allen since he left. He's looked different. He's looked more erratic. Yeah, more like he did in his first two years when people were thinking he was going to be a bust. Wish it took. Wish it took more of a toll on him this year, though, because he still is a top five fantasy quarterback. No, yeah. I mean, you're still starting. I'm just talking yeah. about, like, just regular football. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, so this is kind of a, a what did I learn rest of season. Like, okay. sometimes our, our what did I learns are a little, week to you know, week. recency bias kind of. So, But I've I learned that the Calvin Ridley experiment's over. <laughs> so you guys were yeah. wrong. I was right. I'm trading Calvin Ridley. I'm, I'm looking to trade him. I've I've watched these games with that with the Jags good. and good. he he's he was a speedy wide receiver that was able to like get separation because of the routes he's just he's just going straight north and south, but he's running down the field and the defenders right there, so they're throwing the ball to him. He's making either a really good catch or it's nowhere near him. Yes, they're trying to get him in the backfield yes. to get cooking early in in yes. games. It's just not. He's 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 a little bit older than I guess I thought he was gonna come back and play us. Yeah, so yeah. so I'm trading him, and then I also underestimated Christian Kirk in drafts. I thought that Christian Kirk benefited from not having a guy like Calvin Ridley next to him, mm-hmm. and really just had Man, to be the de facto this is guy. What I said. Yeah, but he was the value of the wow. two Jags wide receivers, oh, and nice. if I could go back, I'd I'd take Christian Kirk over Calvin Ridley. So treat wow. Calvin Ridley. You can't do it this week because he had a this terrible be Mercy Street. Mercy Street. Oh, hey, it's just, you. you know, it's just being, you know, well, who is humble, in the preseason? Taking your, was taking it your just losses? you? I think it was you. It was everybody, right? Yeah. You guys no. were on his and, schlong. Well, and don't get me wrong. Calvin Ridley is going to have good games. Yeah. He's just going to be streaky. And for a guy that you're, I traded for Calvin Ridley after the draft. Yeah. Because I couldn't get him in drafts. But he can't be what you probably drafted him or traded him as to be your wide receiver too. He's like a you can't rely on that. Low end wide receiver too or you think flex? I think he's he flex. Well, if you're going to keep him, he's now in flex categories. Like flex. there there are weeks yeah. where you can bench Calvin Ridley, but you you need to look to trade for trade Calvin Ridley away. Okay. Just yeah, that's what I that's what I learned. Yes. Unfortunately. You got anything else, Josh? J-Bone? No. No, I was just trying to come in. You mean like another guy? You got anything? You anything else that you know stood out to you? I got if two. You don't, so. I got yeah. I got, I got some more guys. Yeah, I got a few. Mm, what, are you just talking about what you learned? Yeah, what That's we learned. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. Nothing comes to mind. You learned that spending sixty five dollars for Delvin Cook in an auction draft probably wasn't a good play. I, I, I think it worked. You know out. what? You know what? That's the thing about Dynasty, though. It's like, oh, I'm tanking. It's okay. <laughs> Like tanking slaps the bandaid on bad moves. Well, that was that's not that's a different league. That that's not the tanking league. I took down. Oh, you're not taking in that league. No. Well, your argument earlier was that you have Mahomes for four years because well, no, you called out Mahomes. I just forget what leagues I have. <laughs> <laughs> so I was so just, you brought an argument up for yeah. something. Well, if I would have had Mahomes in that league, that would have been my argument. You have Mahomes in that league. Well, then that's my argument. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Ta- okay, I'm we're not, not gonna, tanking. We're not getting you, there. I didn't say. I'm saying you said. I said I'm tanking. Yeah. But I was talking about a different league. Okay. And then you said, "Well, why you have Mahomes?" And I forgot what. Yeah, but instead I have of Mahomes correcting in, me, you just kind of went with it. I don't think I don't remember what you guys don't I have in what, what leagues. Yeah, he doesn't. 
<laughs> you got your gun, Phil? He's stupid like that. Come yeah. on, man. Um, I was trying to look for stats. But uh, so what we learned, uh, the Ravens are for real. Ravens are for real. Lions, I don't think that, you know, it's like a total, ex, you know, being exposed game. But it does kind of open your eyes when you look at the people they played. It's aside from the Chiefs on opening night. Without Chris Jones and Travis Kelsey. Chris jo- yeah, exactly. So, but the Ravens, I mean, if Lamar can, if Lamar could pass the ball like that consistently, I mean, those guys, you know, I know you've been all over. What's his face? Zay uh, Flowers. Yeah, Zay Flowers and maybe some Bateman mixed in there. Andrews. Mm. I think Lamar's better than people make it seem. His his throwing is better than people make. Well, it seem. I'm saying yeah, but it's his receivers I, drop a lot of passes. We said that well, he, two weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, he did have that game, but I think the thing with Lamar, he's had passing performances like that, but it hasn't been consistent. Where week in week out, he's putting up great performances passing it's the ball. Good enough. It is, but I'm. I'm but that's what I'm, I'm saying. But a performance like that, when he finally has the receivers around him, or you know the targets, I think it. I think it does boost up guys like that I thought would kind of fall off a little bit, like my Isaiah Likely thing with Andrews. Mm, I, see what you're I mean, Isaiah Likely is not even getting targeted anymore. Yeah, so like um, fantasy spin, like your studs are obviously there, like Zay Flowers, Lamar Jackson, but like people like Justice Hill, maybe that might catch a little bit more, or maybe, yeah. like Isaiah Likely, like people that you're ready to ship off, you're maybe holding for a little bit longer. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like okay. if you like Bateman, guys like that, you're kind of waiting and seeing if they're still gonna. You know, I'm not saying that Bateman's going to be a wide receiver too or anything, but yeah. if you got him on your bench and that that offense is going to wind up turning the corner because Detroit Lions defense, we said the week before it was legit. Um, then maybe Bateman down the stretch is going to be a guy that could start in your flex at the end of the season. Yep. Hey, I ever shot Bateman on my bench. Yeah, good for you. Josh dropped him. Congrats. Yeah. Thought he was tanking though. So. Oh, oh man, he's God. really going. You know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what did I learn that the Vikings should let Justin Jefferson walk? There's no point in bringing Justin Jefferson back. This yeah. is a good, feel-good win against a good team I think you're right. that allows you to continuously lose the next three or four. You can let Kirk Cousins go. You can go for Caleb, who, by the way, has said that the Minnesota Vikings are one of like the five teams that he would play for. Jordan Addison looks like the real deal against a really good but defense. But why would you not just keep Addison and keep... I mean, why pay Justin Jefferson when... Well, I, I guess technically he, you can not pay... doesn't replace him, though. No, but you can... I might walk this back a little bit because you could pay Justin Jefferson because you're not paying a quarterback yet. But you, you still could, have a young receiver that yeah, you but don't you, have to pay. Yeah, but you got to pay defense, though. I'm saying in the world of where you need to spend money, the Vikings don't need to spend it on Jefferson. I get it they if can, it was just a star wide receiver, but when he's like the number one receiver, number two receiver in the yeah. league, look you kind of keep him. Yeah, but look at the way that the Vikings are going, though. This season's kind of a wash at this I point. I think you're right about Justin that. Justin Jefferson has the hammy that can keep him out. They don't need to play him. Addison can get more playing time. They can but go with young players. You see what I'm saying, though? You're basing everything on Addison. I love I have Addison, yeah. so I love I love the player, but he gets hurt, then what? Yeah, well, K.J. Osborne. Okay. So that's so, your guy. And, so, then, and, then, and then you really then can go back to... The Vikings have lost too many games, and they don't have that many more coming in the win column. I don't think. I think you're so wrong here. What do they have? All right. So first of all, like, this is terrible. This is bad. This is bad. What did you learn? <laughs> okay. So they're three and four. Yeah. Okay. Who who's running away from them? The Lions. Lions with that exposed? division. They're three and four. Their the only bad loss they had was on opening day against the Bucks. They lost to the Eagles by six. They lose to the Chargers on the last play of the game. Yeah, basically. but these games. Hold on. Hold on. Let me make my damn point. Shut the fuck up. They lost to the Chiefs by seven. All right. They've won. They they beat the Vikings. So they won three, uh, three Vikings of their beat last the Vikings. four. I'm saying they beat the Bears. They beat the 49ers, who people, you guys didn't give them a shot to beat them. And they, they beat them. 49ers who supposed you to say be was the best, best team, in the, team in the league. They're three and four. Addison looks good. What's coming up? Kirk is still. Yeah, what's coming up? I, I love that you said that because that's a joke that you said. They had, yeah, they got the mighty Packers coming up. Then they got the Falcons and the Saints and those the are, Broncos and the Bears. Those so are you all tell teams, me they can't win all those five are of those all, games? Those are all that's Browns. The Raiders. Browns look good. Those are all teams. Browns. That, I didn't say Browns. Packers, you just, you Falcons. Browns. No, he didn't. Packers, he said Broncos. Falcons, Saints, Broncos, Bears, Raiders. Those are all games that they're going to lose close. Oh Why? Because they've they done that all the year. Niners. Well, first of all, they're three and four. It's only been seven games. How have they done that all year? The, the, the game, close games they lost were to the Eagles. Do they suck? No. Okay. To the Chiefs. But are they not losing these games close? 
Yeah, but to good teams. It doesn't matter. They're losing games. But they lost close but to But they guys, just won three of their Eagles. last four. No. Nah. No? Nah? No. Nah. It's a bonus oh, thing. Oh, please clip. I feel this in my bones. This. Why? Yeah. I don't get it. I think, I think the Vikings should just call it. So why, why did they beat the 49ers last night? Because that's like the good game that you win to like have the next three but or four losses. Had other like, good oh, but we beat the Bucs. We beat the Niners. Their last four. No, I don't think it. I don't you see can't, it. You don't even have an argument there. You're I just, saying no. I'm just. I'm. It's more of a like. It's a feel thing. Like oh, Jefferson's out. I mean, if it's a, it's feel a new thing. head coach, Kirk is on his last uh, year of his contract. Maybe There's trade room. Night. They're going to be sellers at the. Kirk at the, is still a top ten to fifteen quarterback in the league. Yeah, but they're not going to pay him again. That's fine. But why would you get rid of Justin Jefferson? You know, well, I don't think you're like you're deliberately getting rid of Justin. I'm just saying that in the camp of the Viking season not going how they planned, they could be sellers at the trade deadline. Yeah. They can let their young players, their good players, stay like on IR. They don't get, need to I do. I get that angle, but yeah. I think what you're not acknowledging here is that at three and four. With those five games coming up, they're not looking at their season like it's not going the way they. I play. mean, I have the. They're basically five hundred. I had the Vikings making the playoffs in the wild card, and it could they, still they very could, well happen. They but f- they easily, I would put money on them going four and one the next yeah, five but games. I, I don't think it's a, a debate about the Vikings being a bad team. It's about the Vikings being a different team. Like, okay. yeah, they could be. They could but be you know, a wild based, card you know, team based on the schedules that they they have a better chance of having a better record than the Bills, who you probably think shouldn't give up Stefan Diggs or. Any guys to sell off? Yeah, but it's it's. Uh, I think you guys are leaning into records more than I am. I'm talking oh, about like part of it. Yeah, but it's it's the fact that Josh Allen is is still Buffalo. That yeah, Stephon Diggs true. needs to be with Josh Allen because Josh Allen wouldn't be as good without him. That head coach isn't going anywhere. He's not on the hot seat for whatever reason, even though we've called for it a, a little Ooh. bit. Um, Sean McDermott. McDermott. We talk about OC calling instead. Yeah. yeah. The Vikings have a, a second year head coach that would benefit from them being competitive, losing. Games close, maybe even making a wild card. They would benefit from letting Jefferson sit for the rest of the year, seeing yeah, what they have in young the, guys. The other side they would benefit from would being you, sellers at the this. trade so would deadline. You, would you let go of Jamar Chase because you have Higgins? No, because the Bengals are in a different situation. But if so the if Bengals were in the exact same situation as the Vikings, where it's a second-year head coach, Joe Burrow's on the last so year of his expensive contract, and that Jamar Chase is hurt, and not playing football, and then you have a guy like T. Higgins, but a guy that was a rookie <laughs> lighting it up like Jefferson would be, that front office is thinking the same things that I'm I, I looking at. We, I, it, it just falls apart for me where, I, I mean, they could be looking at it the complete opposite way. They have one more year with Kirk. They have Jamar, I mean, Justin Jefferson. They could make the playoffs, and then after that, the landscape is kind of barren. Who's the quarterback? You already won three games. You're, you're like two games behind well, and how four could other you get teams. Rid of Jefferson, when Addison's opening up, you know, he's still a rookie. And then when well, Jefferson I comes be- back, he's open. He has more time. More Letting open. him walk was a little like clippy. I'm walking okay. that back a little bit because. I just don't like how hard you're saying their season's over. Yeah, but my, my, well, my point is that there is a realm of possibility where Jefferson doesn't play the rest of the year. And then if Jefferson's not playing the rest of the year, then why? Why put more eggs in the basket of this is the team that goes forward? I get what you're saying, but, but I the think the team he, is not one thing. It, you're right. It's Kirk being on what the I'm last year's contract. Could be gone. It's Jefferson being hurt. It's Jefferson's the defense hurt not now. He deep. comes back next year. You still have Addison. Then you have a top receiver in the league. You get yeah. another quarterback. Why I, would you give that up? That, when are you going to get another Justin but Jefferson? That, that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. Like they could. He wants the Eagles. Go. They could potentially pay Justin Jefferson because they're not paying a quarterback yet. But they could very well spend that on defense instead. They could trade Jefferson for a lot because Jefferson's going to be get, getting paid like no wide receiver has ever been paid before. Like yeah. the market is just. I get set that. Up for I him. mean, I get what you're saying, but I just don't. And think it's more so fantasy spin. Like if you're a Jefferson owner and it's redraft, like get ready to move him. But with wide receivers, that works out when they pay them. With running backs, yeah, you don't want to do that, but. When yeah. you play a starred wide out, he's going to go somewhere else and be the star wide out. Yeah, but are, are the Vikings going to give like that much more money to a wide receiver when they have they need to spend money elsewhere? That defense isn't good. They can benefit from a rookie quarterback. Their entire like they have nothing at running back either, so they can just bring in whatever because it's Madsen and Cam Akers who are both technically still on their rookie deals. So you're just saying it's not like you're saying in the draft. You're saying that they're going to find all these things to replace. 
a star. All guy. right, you know what? We're in the weeds here. Let's. <laughs> I'm just, who, who's Vikings? What did we learn was that? That was my, that was okay. mine. Yeah. yeah Viking, we got to move on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think guys. my points valid. You were in it too, bad guy. I know, yeah. but now I I, I I stepped out. I got a quick. I got a quick one to learn. Is it gonna be? Deshaun quick? Watson's on my shit list. I'm dropping him. I thought about it last week, and he should be nowhere in fantasy teams. I don't know how any person roots for the guy. He's bad at football, and people will say that he's bad in real life too. I just don't see like any any reason to be a Deshaun Watson stand. Two QB leagues. I don't. Yeah. Even, he he got you negative two points last I mean, week. Yeah. Uh, well, if true. you're in a two quarterback league and you're starting him, I just yeah. Deshaun Watson off the face of the earth. That's what I learned. Yeah, I don't. Oh, wow. I, I wouldn't want him wow. right now. Off yeah. the face of the earth. Yeah, wow. yeah. <laughs> He's coming with strong, hot. Fire, yeah, it was, yeah, potatoes. yeah. You're 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 baking. You're cooking Someone's got to be marked. <laughs> I guess you're right. Yeah. All right. You so need more energy then. Is that all? Yeah. <laughs> nah, I don't know. <laughs> Guys built like a brick He's shit out house. of here. Because I said so. <laughs> Mark's always trying to sell his shit. All right. So that's what did we learn, huh? Is that it? That's, did anyone else learn anything else? No, I didn't learn anything I else. Learned anything I learned a lot. I learned that now I'm rooting for the Vikings' downfall. <laughs> yeah, I see. You. Because this take has to hold. Yeah, 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 you yeah, really sad. you dug your yep, you dug sure your did. in. All right, uh, if you're doing Daily Fantasy through Thrive Fantasy, yeah. you're going to be doing everything fantasy football related with Chalkboard. Ask us questions 24-7 in our group chats. We have a lot of cool things like a cheat sheet that Rocky makes of like the top 60 in each position. You got Phil's picks. Whether <laughs> you look, you look at Phil's picks and say these are the ones I don't want to take, yeah, or you know, you do what you want with that but information. They should have covered. Who was it? Uh, Denver should have covered that yeah. last drive. God. Uh, Mark does his start sits, and <laughs> it's it's just a good free tool that you can use if you want to win pretty, your fantasy league. The chat's leagues. pretty cool, too. Yeah, click the link in the bio, scan the QR code on screen, hopefully this week. A lot of action in the chat. QR code's right on screen. Now. Yeah, a lot of action in the chats. It's a good community, so you should check that out. And it helps the show. It helps us. Now on to our weekly waivers. Come on, baby. baby I need baby. you this week. this week. It's your time. Hey. I was looking at my <laughs> hand. Oh. All right, weekly waivers. Two. We usually pick two people that you should target on your waivers. Right. Josh, I have no idea if you have anything queued up for this. Do you? Um, not really, but right. I definitely don't have two. <laughs> I could give you one. You got one? I got I got one for you. Yeah, let's hear it. I'm gonna throw out there uh Taysom Hill. Okay. Okay. So for the first few weeks of the season, his rushing has not changed since week one. It's yep. been the same. But in the last two weeks, his um, passing receptions have gotten, I mean, in the first five weeks, he's got maybe one, I think, every game. And the last two weeks, he's gotten like five and eight. And he's also had, in the last two games, 29, I believe it's 29 fantasy points. Hey, math is math. Uh, he They're doing something. 27. Math. So to They're your changing point. something there. He has 13 targets in the last two weeks. Right. So they're it's changing something in the offense where they're getting him more involved in the passing game. So yeah. I feel good about that. Had a Russian TD last week. But, yeah, I mean. If you need a tight end, Taysom Hill might be 13 it. 13 targets is not bad. I mean, he's going only for 50. Oh, that's great. But uh, he went, caught seven of eight targets last week. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. They I changed something. Something changed in the last two weeks. Well, yeah, I mean, they're calling – plays like it's 2008 and they have Drew Brees like yeah. it's and he had a touchdown yeah, yeah I, that, think, I think he gives him a spark so it kind of makes sense that OC yeah I mean that OC is on the hot seat a lot of Saints fans don't and it's not like a weird him. thing where it's like oh is he caught is he throwing it you know they got their guy now yeah well, it's not like a gadget thing right, or something right. yeah I mean they're still gonna run gadget rush like I think the yeah. touchdown he had was a little bit of a it was a it was a rushing little touchdown. thing, yeah. Yeah, it was a rushing. But it was a touchdown. little it was a little weird. But they're gonna keep doing those things and just seeing that they plus he's getting targets. Uh, yeah, I think yeah. he had eight targets last game or something like that. So he's getting from up from like one target a game. So it's it's in there. So yeah, good job. Thank you. That was a good a good waiver wire. Thank you. So yeah, you got yours. That's all I got. Yeah. So I'm going with Juwan Jennings, and obviously um, in San Francisco. You got Debo out with the hairline fracture. They're saying it's about three weeks. That includes their bye week. So they're thinking he's going to wind up on IR, which is four-game absence. So this is right in the heart of your season. You need a receiver on a team that should be scoring a lot. Um, I know they didn't put up a lot of points last night, but he had nine targets last game. The game before where uh, 
He had four, 54 yards, nothing crazy. But at this point in the season, if you're in any type of competitive league, it's getting real slim pickings out there. And I think you got to pick up guys that, for me, it's just have opportunity. Like, you're not going to get the most talented guy in the league right now. You're going to get guys that are getting opportunity. So, John Jennings, nine targets last week. I, I expect it to continue as Debo's out, and maybe he carves out a role where he's still valuable once Debo gets back. Yeah, I mean, speaking of opportunity, uh, Dalton Foreman, you got to take him if he's not already on a roster. Obviously, he did, you know, the three touchdown game last week. So if you have priority, you should go for him. The rest of the running backs there don't look like they're coming back anytime soon. I think they actually might even ship off Khalil Herbert. I don't think he's going to be any fantasy type of relevant. Yeah. So you're only looking at Roshan Johnson and Foreman, who Foreman, they paid in free agency. So go where the money goes and take Foreman. There you go. And nobody else, right? No. All right. So I'll go to a guy that we I think I mentioned way back in week three or four. Um, this is when you were still standing for uh, Miles Sanders. Um, but I, I kind of banged the table for this guy, and I think, Damn no, it. yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm going for, for Chaba Hubbard. So Chaba Hubbard, um, the last, last three weeks, um, we're talking about 28, 42 touches, 42 carries. He's seen a little bit of work in the passing game, but he went for 19 touches, 88 yards, a touchdown, 15 points this week. And I think they're just going to keep continue to go away from Al Sanders. I think it's just not working. Yeah. He hasn't been affected. Hubbard's been there for years. He's a true blue plant panther. He knows the system. True blue panther. <laughs> and he, he's been productive. I mean, to get a running back that's getting 19 touches and it's not because of an injury – and at this point in the season, I think it's a pretty good pickup. So go get Chubba. You're saying 19 touches in one game? Yeah. Last game, Miles Sanders didn't play either, though. So it had it been from injury. Miles Sanders? Yeah, but he got, he got 10 yeah. touches the week, 12, 11 touches the week before, 14 the week before so that. So 19 when he was the only back. 19 when he was the only yeah. back, yes. Yeah, no, I mean, there is something to that. So I mean, not a terrible pick. 88 yards, too. So Hate to admit that, though. Yeah, it's over yeah. For, for all miles there. Yeah. I don't think it's over. Okay. Probably I think not. he's still flex in a few. I mean, he had he had a seventeen point game. That's something. Yeah, uh, it is something. He only played like three games so far this year. Yeah, well, that remember when we were coming in the preseason? That's what I was saying. Is that the guy had one healthy year? Yeah. The rest of his career has been banged up. Yeah, I, well, I thought this why. year would yeah. be different. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't because you just like him. I'm gonna go with a guy that I play with. Me being Josh Allen on the Buffalo Bills. Pause. I'm going uh, with Latavius Murray. Uh, a good handcuff if James Cook, James Cook ever you know takes some time off and there is opportunity there's packages that are designed for Latavius Murray that he gets all the goal line carries in Buffalo <laughs> and he is their change of pace back so I do like Latavius Murray as a stash especially if you can afford it on your bench and hey go Knights UCF I'll throw one more out there it's pretty obvious when Darrell Henderson yeah uh, back in the fold with the, the the old Rams there 18 attempts for him and a touchdown uh, didn't do much in the receiving game, but that's fine at this point. Like I said, you're not going to find, you know, rock stars on the waiver wire, but this guy's perfect. I mean, he has the opportunity. I think that offense is going to continue to to be good as they get Cup and Atwell and the Nakua kind of more comfortable being on the field with each other, and there'll be opportunities for him to get his goal line carries. Yeah, that's good. I mean, I said Devin Singletary last week, so he's not technically the waiver wire target for me this week, but if you if you haven't tried getting Singletary, you should. I think he's going to really – split time with Damian Pearson it's going to benefit you all right that's weekly waivers that's weekly waivers Woo, yay. Uh, now we're going to go into our we called it section where we give you a very bold 100% accurate take that could be positive that could be negative we haven't had any actual hits yet though, we've right? had two close really close ones fantasy points identical but how they got it not okay. identical so gotten the fantasy points so? yeah Brees Hall and Joe Burrow in two separate weeks, I think. Yeah, I don't know if that was the same week or not. No, they were separate. Yeah, you guys. Got I yours? mean, to be fair, the bowl, the Burrow one was good. It wasn't. It was. It was bold. good. It was bold. Two because touchdowns he, bold. He's been bad. He was yeah, bad. He was bad. Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna throw one out there. I'm obviously a Giants fan. Okay. I'm going Saquon Barkley. I think it's gonna be a big game. A lot of fiery <laughs> stuff going on. Jets, Giants. That's true. I think he's gonna have over a hundred one touchdown. Do I have to give fantasy points? No, because no. you gave the stats. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. Over 100 yards and a touchdown. Do you have yours? Because I, I can go. You could go. I'm well, still deciding. Well, I'm just going to go uh, the opposite way. Saquon Barkley, under 10 fantasy points, uh, oh, wow. plays a really good Jets defense. And Saquon Barkley kind of kind of old and sucks. So. Oh, oh wow. my God. Going to go with that. Oh, wow. boy. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> go make some money, Saquon. Oh, man. <laughs> Coming from the Eagles fan Under, wearing a Buffalo, uh, Buffalo <laughs> I'm Bills I'm Josh jersey. Allen. I'm Josh Allen. Yeah. <laughs> He's Josh Allen. <laughs> Under 10 Both fantasy points, though, Saquon yeah. Barkley against the Jets defense. Book okay. it. Okay. Book it. All right, so we're going Eagles, uh, Commanders. Also, I had no other, nothing in the think tank there. So. Oh, no, my thing <laughs> froze up. Bad bet. Oh, no, I'm froze up. <laughs> oh, boy, what do you have? Oh, no, I'm frozen up. All right, so you know what? I'm, going, I'm just going for it. Kenny Pickett, give me over 250. Three tutties. Three tutties against the Jaguars at home. Might be his first time doing that. Yeah. That ain't happening. That's bold. That's how you get bold. I guess it's bold. <laughs> get bold. But I mean, Saquon against the Jets defense is pretty bold, right? <laughs> it's boldish. Yeah. I was going to do a Daniel Underwhelming. Jones comeback not, game. He's not going to play. He's going to come back. Okay. Comeback game. For New York. New York. All right, so that the battle is. For <laughs> battle for New York. Battle for New York. There's no battle for back. New York. He has to come back. No battle. You don't know anything. What do I gen- this isn't a bit. Oh, well, here we go. What's the, you don't do bits. What's the root? What's the rooting strategy this season? The rooting strategy. What do you yeah. mean? What's the rooting strategy? We don't strategy? have strategies like. Like, what do you? It's not not a strategy, but like mindset. Oh, we're trying to get a wild card. Okay, sure. so you're still yeah. going for wild card. Oh, yeah, yeah. Huh? yeah, you too. Yeah, yeah no, I mean, yeah. I, to be honest, if they called the fucking hold on Waller in the <laughs> Buffalo game, we win. We we're we're three Did and you see five, it? three and four right Did now. Did you see it? Three and four. Did you see it? Sounds like the Vikings. That, I did we're, see it. Was, it was we're, atrocious. We're it was a game and a half we're out of the a point playoff of season. Right now. We're at the point of season where you can't say those yeah, things. You can't. Okay. Yeah. Three, four, four, and three, four. You know, does, yeah. same shit. Yeah, but it's the Giants, though. It so doesn't like, matter. Giants, the four-time that world championship Giants. That's uh, what you're talking about? Okay. I'm talking about the Giants that have been in these situations the last 10 years. And um, what's been... It's a real small number for you. All right. It was, out, it was okay. a, genu- a genuine Half question. Life. Gen- yeah, literally. Went to the playoffs last year. I remember. I seem to remember that. I just thought. I I thought Gi- some Giants fans were in the camp of you know Dantley Jones. Maybe it wasn't worth the money. What do we do? Oh, there's a bunch of Giants fans. Hit like the that, red button. They're the same Giants fans that are Yankees fans. But if you watch the, the Yankees games, that win hundred games mm-hmm. every year, if you, know, you watch the games, then you would know that he's running for his life. And even though yeah, we made a slight adjustment on the line with like, Couch Boy this week, yeah, yeah, well, he's been good. It made a big difference oh, for the for for the blind side. And gave well, it's not Tyrod's not it's, he's lefty, right? I don't know. Oh wow, you're just lefty? thinking of Michael Vick, huh? <laughs> just <laughs> taking two black quarterbacks <laughs> and mixing them. No. Ty- hey, Tyrod's look good. Yeah, Tyrod's maybe we should have paid him. Tyrod, yeah. What did you funny. just say? <laughs> Nothing. <That's funny. laughs> All right, yeah, that's the show. Basically I just wanted what Jalen Hurts is going to be in five years. All right. Good job, everyone. Good job. Good job. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. If you're listening on Spotify, rate us five stars. Uh, go to G1 Podcast on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, whatever. We are on there. Uh, do your daily fantasy through Thrive. Ask us questions in Chalkboard. We appreciate you. Josh, thanks for hanging out with us today. Yep. Anything for the people? Chris, Chris nope. I'm already giving him a lot. Look at that. Give him the back. Yeah. I'm not giving him the back.